Hi there. I'm mostly done this RV renovation. I have to put it into storage now for about three months and then I'll get it out of storage and do all the little touches and things like that. Um, but what I did is I just wanted to do a real quick walkthrough with you and show you some of the things I've done to it that have made it a lot different than what it was. Um, first of all, um, this all back here used to be the kitchen and it's a pretty standard layout to have a rear kitchen and very low counters and a very shallow sink. So what I did is I actually pulled out the whole kitchen and I put it all right here uh, where you'll see it. Um, this is a slide out over here and I've left the uh, couch that was there and it folds down to a bed, which is really nice. And I also left the cupboards up there. I like those because they were out of the way. Um, but what I'll do is I'll walk you through quickly and show you things I've left and things I've changed and why I did it. So starting with the back, um, I made this uh, dining area and you can see that I have put in um, cupboards underneath because I think that it's a really good place for storage under there. And at the back over there, that's the water heater. So um, I liked that position for it. And this table is kind of unique. So I'll just show you the what I did is um, I had this chair. I found this chair that um, has one of those posts that goes up and down. So I've actually got it so that it can move around. So when uh, you can push it all the way back and you slide in very, very easily. But let me show you why I left that seat. So um, sometimes we like to be joined. My wife and I will be the ones who are primarily in it. But we like to be joined by our children sometimes and other fellow campers. Able. And this simply slides in here. And then what I do is I bring this uh, seat along like that. So um, it's a nice table so I can sit here. A person can sit comfortably here and uh, we have a chair and then the chair can be there a chair can be there and a chair and a person can sit there so technically we could sit five people here fairly comfortably I mean a little bit a little bit tight but not too bad so I was pretty happy with that table the refrigerator I just left it what where it was but what I did is I pulled out the furnace and underneath the refrigerator I put in a diesel heater very very small form factor and it's going right now because it's uh, middle of January. Um, but in the summer months, I can store extension cords and other things right there too. It was the kitchen. I made a counter that was actually a good height, much like what we'd have at home. And then I put in drawers that, um, that work uh, much like home as well. Um, underneath the uh, regular um, cupboards. And I kept the original stove. I did get rid of the microwave because we don't use it very much because we do a lot of off-grid camping and these um, are coming, uh, these come up. The cupboard, I made it narrower here because it used to come out really far which makes it very difficult for cooking here. So what I like is that there's a lot of light. So talk about lights, I put in lights there, under counter lights here and here. Oops, uh, right there and then um, lights all throughout the kitchen. So it just makes a very nice, bright workspace. And, uh, and then I also have back here, which I'll bring you closer, is this coffee bar. So at the coffee bar, um, yes, the washroom is purely a toilet and medicine cabinet. Um, when I do bring it back, what I'm going to do is possibly convert this into a shower. So this will fold up and then there'll be a shower and you step into a shower there. And when it's not being used as a shower, then um, I'll fold it back down and it can be used as a storage cupboard. I just find that we don't shower in uh, the RV very much. We're three season campers and I'm gonna get one of those um, uh, outside showers, um, the tankless outside showers. And so I'm gonna try that out. So um that's a work in progress not 100 percent sure what we're going to do there but all the plumbing is in place so i can put a shower there if i wanted to one thing that i did that i really like is i put in sliding glass doors the reason for that is because um i snore so when i snore i come out here and uh i'm sleeping out here on this bed and my wife is back there on that bed and then we just 
close the doors and it's happiness in the trailer. So um, this was really made for us. And um, when she's back here, then she just, so they, they do open all the way. And then, and it's amazing how much it actually really does cut the sound out. So, uh, so I was very happy with that. Now I'm gonna not leave them glass. I will, um, I'll put some kind of a coating on them. And they are made out of plexiglass. I actually made the doors um, because I couldn't find anything like it. So um, I've made them out of three panes of pe plexiglass in order to uh, make sure that if anything's flying around and hits them, I don't have shattered glass everywhere. This also is plexiglass. So everything uh, you see in here is totally shatterproof. What I'm gonna do to keep it open is um, the doors are at their ends and they really do stay there very well. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put one of those expandable um, uh, shower rods just at the top here and put it there and then that'll... Now the pullout has a couch on it. And what I, I tried to make it as cozy as I could um, by putting this uh, paneling on the wall and then urethaning it and then uh, uh, leaving the frame. There's little puck lights here, which I've left and they're um, a much softer light. Uh, the other half of the table when it's not uh, being used um, as a table, uh, stores nicely right there. And, um, and the slide out can come in easily uh, past that. So it's not interfering with anything along the way. The big things I did was I actually put solar on, put a 400 watt um, solar panel on there. And this is a remote control of the solar. So right now it doesn't need any power because it's on uh, electricity, but um, that just gives you an idea of what the solar panel is doing. And then I put a Victron battery monitor on it as well. Um, so you can see the battery voltage and you'll be able to see everything that's uh, the battery is using as it's using. The areas that people will be very surprised at is I went with a very minimal washroom. So um, there's a medicine cabinet in there and a composting toilet. So for the bedroom, um, I really just wanted to go for a nice home uh, sort of country kind of look. And um, so what I did is I made these uh, cabinet doors um, that, you know, uh, that are just, you know, a little bit more country-ish. Um, I'm not gonna put handles on the top ones, but we have handles on the drawers underneath the bed. That's a little spot for, uh, you can tuck your shoes or your boots or something like that. And um, then um, I've made a closet there so that you can hang up any clothes. Um, my wife is a writer, and so when we're on the road and she wants to do some writing, uh, I put a desk in for her, and so she can uh, simply put her um, computer on there and then uh, close the doors behind us. And have a nice, peace, quiet place to work um, while looking out at the scenery. As I mentioned, it's um, not finished yet. There's a number of small little things I need to do, window coverings, cushions for the, uh, for the table, um, things like that. Just um, nice little creature comforts. And, uh, but I had it ripped right down to the uh, bare walls. Uh, refrigerator was left. But other than that, um, it was all ripped out. So uh, pretty happy with the end result. Uh, if you have any comments or any uh, thoughts, um, be free, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for uh, joining me in the tour.